We're back with how to create a classroom screen. Did you know that creating a classroom screen can keep you organized and help with classroom management? Let's get started, guys. I am already logged into the platform and I am using the free account because something about free motivates me. So we're going to begin here. We're going to click to add a screen. Remember, because we're using the free account, if you close the web page by any chance, your work will not be saved. You have to upgrade to a paid account in order to save your screen. So to get started, you can select the background. You can select one of the many backgrounds that they have available, or you can select your own. If you care to select your own, you can choose here. Um, choose a picture that or an image or a background that's already uploaded to your device but i'm going to choose a background of my own because i am a custom girl all right so we have our background now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a calendar for my students so they know what day it is i'm going to choose to downsize my calendar because remember this is all about custom you can do whatever you want for your students in your environment. So I'm gonna put our date over here. Next, I'm going to add a clock. So we don't know what time it is. You can choose to keep an analog clock or a digital, or you can do both. For my little learners, I'm gonna do a digital clock. I'm gonna change us, we're gonna get a red clock. Put my clock over here. All right, it's coming along good. And you also can choose to let your clock show AM. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to include a timer because today's activities that we're going to do, it's going to give them a 20, let's give them a 25 minute, 25 minute timer here. I'm going to make my timer a little bit smaller. I'm going to change the color. Okay. So I have my timer. It's already, and I'm going to sit it right here. All right, in today's class, we'll be reading the story, Pete the Cat. I want to go ahead and put my story here so that my students can have access to it. I'm going to link it with a YouTube link. So I click YouTube. I'm going to go to my story. I already have it up. I'm going to grab the link. And I'm going to go back here. Copy the link here. Press the green button. And just like that. Pete the Cat is ready on my classroom screen. Bring it right over here. All right. The last thing that I'm going to do for my students for this day is I'm going to put our activities on here using QR codes. How cool is that? They can go up to the board with their device, scan it, and they can start on an activity. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to embed a tracing activity. Okay, so I have it up already. And we're going to trace the letter A. I'm going to grab the link, bring it back over to my classroom screen, put the link here, and let's go to our what? Options. We want custom. We want to do it how it is to fit our learners. Actually, what I prefer to do is I would prefer it to display the name of the activity instead of the link because my kids don't know what a link is. So we're going to, I'm going to just put letter a and then we're going to put show title and change the color all right that looks good let's scoot this over let's scoot this here we don't want to watch it yet all right and i'm gonna add one more thing to my classroom i'm gonna add another qr code so that's our ela skill and i'm gonna add a math skill because we're gonna do we're going to have some activities to do here and everything. We're going to have one stop shop. Everything is going to be here that we need. So I'm going to do a pattern activity. I'm going to grab the link, bring it back over to my classroom screen, paste my link here. And of course, let's customize. So again, I don't want it to say the link. I would prefer it to say patterns. And I'm going to change the color. And just like that, look at my classroom screen. It's all colorful. It matches my environment. It's set for my students. And it's going to help me with my classroom management. 